What's going on, guys? Mike back. Do my recap of my trip to the Philly show. It was a lot of fun. The Philly show is a huge sports card and memorabilia show. It takes place just outside of Philadelphia in March, September, and December every year. It's a big show. It's definitely worth checking out if you're on the East Coast. Uh, unfortunately, we had some bad weather Friday, which kind of killed it that day. And few people who were supposed to get out weren't able to make it. I did make it on Sunday and uh, had a blast. Met up with HerdFan87. Matt is a great guy. Met him for the second time today, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, if you were getting Eagles autographs, you had a lot of looking to do because you had a lot of waiting. So anyway, just going to jump in, show off some of the stuff I picked up. Nice Randy Wolf auto here on a Flair Tradition card. Got this in a 3 for $2 box. So $0.67 cents for an auto of a Philly. Ain't going to complain about that. Picked up this Ryan Sandberg, this Archives Reserve. Just a lot of nice shine to it. Cool card. Uh, really like the look of it. Right now, my intention is to send that off for an autograph. Sandberg is one of the really good TTM signers, and I think that would be pretty cool looking. So picked it up. That was a buck. Here's a Patrick Mahomes. I guess this is some sort of insert. Honestly, it was in the 3 for $2 box, and I figured... That isn't a bad deal, and I needed a third card, so I grabbed that. Picked up this Teddy Bruschi rookie at a Bowman's Best. Uh, really cool card. Not one I had in my collection. Would love to add the refractor, but these are generally pretty expensive cards because Bruschi really didn't have many rookies, and specifically in a Patriots uniform. And honestly, as a defensive player back then, people didn't really take care of them. So this looks horrible. It's in, there's a lot of, nonsense under this hard case but i looked it was outside of you know it's on the outside of the soft sleeve inside the top loader so i'll check it out should be pretty neat you know if it's gradable that'd be cool roman quinn had to pick one of those up nah just kidding uh, i actually found this late and it was a ginter auto and I'm sure I'll be able to pick one up via TTM or in person or something like that. But for this price, you know, I figured I'd just grab it and add it to the Phillies Allen and Ginter collection. So that's nice. This is Scott Kingery Auto. This is just a IP deal that I'll probably send off to get um, authenticated. Kingery is really shooting, shooting up. He's really just he had a great year last year in the minors, and he's killing it this spring. Odds are he'll be with the big team at some point this year. So pick that one up at a pretty fair price. Here's a really cool Roy Oswalt. Was just shuffling through some of the cheap boxes. Guy had this one at what I thought was a fair price. And I wasn't a huge fan of this year's five-star. I just don't think the silver auto, the autos on the silver looked great. But these uh, numbered to 25 blue with the gold, the shine, the auto pops. Unbelievable looking card. Uh, Oswald obviously had a really good career, was with the Phils for a few seasons, but best known for his days with the Astros, so was happy to add that to the collection. I mean, just a stunning looking card in my opinion. And then finally I picked up an authenticated Scott Kingery. This is from his first Bowman card uh, from Bowman Chrome, so really nice pickup there. Kingery stuff is definitely going up, so I wanted to make sure I jump on one now. I'm not someone who loves to prospect, but, you know, when you're watching a guy kind of evolve and move up, I kind of uh, try to pick one of them up. So those are some of the singles I picked up. There's a few others, but I kind of picked them up for other people, so no big deal. Did pick up some wax. Uh, ended up getting sucker, suckered into a box of Select 2017. I've loved what I've seen out of this product and figured I'd give it a try. So you can expect either a box break here on the channel of this or a recap at some point might save that for a few days though and then i've been watching a lot of people with some of the retro breaks specifically elite co 3 and uh i've seen other people do it too and people you know i've been getting into the refractor stuff so this is a 1999 tops chrome now this year isn't great at the time the rookie class was crazy popular and crazy hot but unfortunately you know, offhand, I can't think of anyone who's necessarily a Hall of Famer. Maybe there's a defensive guy in there somewhere. But you have a guy like McNabb who was really good, but probably falls short. Same thing for Edron James. And then a lot of those other guys that fell off. But this was pretty cheap, so thought it would be fun to break. So we'll see. Probably do that at some point coming up. 
I'm not really sure how many refractors you get in that product, but again, just thought it would be a lot of fun. Uh, next up, I did buy a, another box of Topps Heritage and uh, did okay with it. Did pretty well, I should say. Uh, nothing crazy, but definitely um, did all right. So got a couple of your typical inserts, the deck ledges, which are really nice. Got your, you know, selection of hot rookies few inserts those were all decent got your short prints which go for a couple bucks a piece even though these really aren't aren't very big names but really nice got one action variation of Paul Goldschmidt got one black parallel and that will be a big one Judge and Sanchez so that's got to be a, a pretty decent price I would think think offhand that's got to be like a 30 40 dollar card i did hit an auto and not a memorabilia card so i was thrilled about that mr trey mancini beautiful looking card really big fan of mancini enjoyed following him last year instead of hitting a regular chrome i hit a chrome refractor and the refractors are awesome unfortunately it's eric hosmer and not that hosmer's uh, a bad player or anything but uh, would love to have gotten a guy on a current team obviously he's a guy who signed really late so he's with san diego now and this was actually a hot box, which was uh, a surprise and a pleasant surprise. So the hot boxes, you will get one purple refractor in each pack. As far as I know, there's one per case. I don't know if that's like in stone, but the cases I've seen have all had them. So that was really nice. Kershaw, Gallo, you know, nice selection of players. Altuve, a lot of guys. But the big one in the purple was the Raphael Devers. So that is another big card that, you know, I'm just estimating it, but I got to think that's like at least a $20, $30 card. Um, so this was a really solid box. Not crazy, like I said, but really well. So I did great with that. And then I took a chance with Topps Archives. It's a signature series. You guys have seen me break a lot of this on here. And this product, I love the idea of it. And there's some amazing cards. I love picking up the cards. You can get them fairly cheap. Breaking it is generally not worth it. But if you do see a string of big cards coming out, they usually run hot and cold. If you see like 10 straight like $3 autos, you're probably getting about 8 or 9 more of them in a row. If you see big cards coming out, you can uh, expect to do well. So someone busted one and did pretty well with it got a one of one so i ended up buying a couple and did really well i actually bought five of them so johnny damon one of one kind of a weird card i mean it's cool that it's heritage he's in the tampa bay uniform that's the worst one i got just to put it that way next up alex rodriguez one of one american league all-star card the one of one deal isn't like huge in this product. That just to me, I use it to see, you know, can I find that card out there somewhere else? Um, because they'll make 10 different one of ones of a player. They're buybacks. This is sweet. Unbelievably nice card there. Cal Ripken Jr., one of one. So yeah, I crushed these uh, archives. So I, I had a great show. I got sucker. I bought this stuff late. Here's a Jim Tomey for the PC, one of one. Tops gold label beautiful looking card one of the newest hall of famers and yeah i really didn't spend much early in this show i just bought kind of some of the singles and then kind of blew up late and turned out well so here's the four, fifth one and it's none other than another one of the newest hall of famers a one of one chipper jones 2009 tops heritage that is a beautiful card absolutely uh wonderful thrilled to get that did great like I said, these run hot and cold. My guess is that case, that particular case, probably had either a Jeter or a Kofax, and then another probably four to five one of ones, then probably a few lesser guys. So uh, did great with opening stuff, had some solid pickups, and then had this nice box handed to me by Matt, aka HerdFan87. He hasn't posted a video in a while, but you guys... Definitely, I'd recommend checking out his channel. Has a lot of great stuff. Big Frank Thomas fan. 
big Eagles fan. So he uh, hooked it up pretty well. Here's a Scott Kingery to 99. Very generous. Here's another Kingery. First Bowman. Nice Cole Hamels draft pick. And by the way, I shuffled through a few of these in front of him, and then the rest I'm looking at fresh. Madsen, IP, rookie card, Topps Chrome. That's awesome. Sean Wooten, who absolutely stunk, but I'm thrilled to have him add it to the Phillies collection because I did not have him. David Bell. There's a nice Randy Wolf. Another Randy Wolf. Hooking up some Ginters for the PC. Chin Ming Wong. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Garrett Atkins, who used to be a great signer, actually sent to him like last year, never heard back, but don't need to now. That's awesome. Thomas Eshelman. This guy had a really good year in the minors last year. I don't know how high his ceiling is, but uh, looks like he has some ability, obviously. Jim Kroll. That's actually really cool. I'm pretty sure I read maybe a year or so ago. I think this guy passed away, so... That particular Phillies team that he was on, I want to say it was, did he play for him in 04? They actually had like three, four guys uh, pass away. Him, Corey Lytle, um, uh, Hitchcock, I think. Uh, Josh Josh Hancock was another one. So kind of a rough go of it for that team. But that is, that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate that, Matt. There's another Ryan Madsen. Hooking up with the Clearly Authentic. I know Matt was breaking a lot of the Authentic for a while. That's really cool. Nice Jorge Alfaro. Man, you hooked it up way too much. Carlos Delgado. Unbelievable. Steve Garvey. Collect these archive signature series. I'm a big fan of them. And uh, this is pretty sweet. Franco's actually looking okay this spring. Then again, he's looked okay a lot of springs. But that is awesome. I'm a big fan of the 1990 autographs. Uh, the from uh, what's it called from Topps Archives. Beautiful looking card, slabbed. So Matt, that was way more than I anticipated. I honestly just figured it was like I don't know five or six Sean Wooten type of autos, and you crushed it. So thank you very much. Guys, that is my look at the Philly show. If you guys are in kind of that tri-state area, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.